Hello and welcome back to Sunless Sunday, where we sail the Sunless Sea with me, Barden, and Father Ted. So we just um, stopped here at um, Frostfound. Um, and I just want to check if there's anything else you want to do. So there's nothing really we can do. So I think we're going to... Are there shops here? No, there aren't. Okay. So I think we're just going to leave... And continue looking for Abbott Horizon. So I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere um, a little further north of here, hopefully, to the northeast. Now, if we, if we do discover it uh, pretty soon, then we can um, we can think about what we actually want to do on our way back. Because we've got, um, you know, if we look from here, we've got all of this area uh, that we could potentially hit up on the way back. Obviously, depending on supplies and whether we'd run into any trouble. waiting for us to get um, a little bit away from force found so we start sending out our Z-Bats now So we're doing well at the moment on fuel and on our supplies, which is good. So I think now we should start um, cutting east. Looks like we've got restless nights now. Okay, we've got at least something over there. This must be Void's approach. The air crackles. With frosty radiation to the north, the false star stars fail in the darkness. Oh, I want to be. Don't want you, Mr. Lifeberg. So let's run from it. Oh, what's this? Not sure what that is, but I don't want to attract its attention. It doesn't look friendly, does it? You know you're in deep trouble when the lifeberg is the <laughs> the more pleasant looking of the two things that could run into you. Okay, so let's get the Z bat on the move because potentially it's going to be something. Yeah, the Chapel of Lights. Okay, so... It's up this way, so let's head up this way. And then we can back off now. Oh, what the hell was that? Wow, that took half our hold away. Uh oh. Oh my god. What the hell was that? For ship founders, there are screamed a flood of dark water, the unforgettable sound of a ship's spine breaking. Wow. What the hell was that thing? 42 damage, and then 40 damage. And the log doesn't say what we discovered either. 
The poor health father Ted. Wow, completely ambushed there. Okay, so I didn't expect to be here. Okay, sorry, apologies there for the um, bit of a break. Um, the cut there because um, I just had to take a phone call. Okay, so here, Ted is obviously dead. Uh, <laughs> didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it does. We got an ironclad will, so um, we get to keep our lodgings, which is good. Um, next now, what we need to do is decide what we want. So we want to keep, um, we want to keep our chart. So let's make sure we do that. Retain 50% of their pages value and their chart. So we're going to be the correspondent. We get the chart, we get the wealth. Okay. And we get all of this stuff. Okay, so um, then let's accept our legacy. Okay, yes, we are sure about that. Okay, so now we got a new person. Okay, so... What do we want? We did our day increase last time. I think we're going to go for natural philosopher this time. Bonus to mirrors. Let's go for that. Okay, we got the plausible surgeon, and we got someone who's looking for passage. So we're going to go for fulfillment again. Okay, and then, um, so, who do you want to be? So, we were Ted last time, so I think we're going to go for a lady this time, so. And it is actually going to be my lady. Okay, and who are we going to choose? So we've already had this type before. I think this one would be good because we're uh, like a natural philosopher. So maybe... Who about you? No. Either between you and you. I think we're going to go with you. And now we have the namer, so... Um, hmm. didn't think I'd have to think of a new um, captain's name in this this video so I don't have one prepared let me think um, let's call her something typically Japanese Sakura and accept that okay we've got the voice for captain so we're immediately going to sell that Okay, then next, um, we're going to buy ourselves some fuel and some supplies. Okay, now, a passenger, who is it? Agreed to carry the Nomic Gallivant to the Cumin Canal on the Iron and Misery Fungi, or the Iron and Misery Fungi Station. Okay, yep, we'll do that. We know where both of those are, so that's going to be pretty easy. Um, next, then, we want to visit the Admiralty. Okay, so where do we want to go? Ireland Misery Funding Station, that's brilliant. So, two birds, one stone, all that kind of thing. And then, is there anything else we need to do? could take on a tomb con list but we're probably going to be going south so 
that's not really yeah I don't want to, I don't want to do that because we we'll leave that until the next time we come back to London so let's head off with Sakura our new captain and just looking at things so we're probably gonna go Quaker's Haven then to the canal over to the Fungjing station and then we'll see from there what we do we'll see like what position we're in after that and whether we're gonna continue sailing or um, head back to London let's get ourselves around the headland here so with the plausible surgeon which gives us plus one page plus one hearts and then um, Doctor aboard is plus one as well. Okay. So we look because we keep passing on the charts and the mirrors it means that um, you know our mirrors are kind of a lot higher than anything else we have. sure that we are going pretty much the right way to Quaker's Haven. I was gonna say we'll probably hit one of these mega locks on the way. So he's gonna attack us so I'm gonna shoot him and then run. And then we're going to slow down and if we need to we can finish him off for a bit of supplies so he's going to come close-ish not get us okay, and then we turn so i think when we leave port we can potentially finish him off and it's an easy way for us to get some more um, supplies okay so first off oh no we need a, we need one echo don't we yeah so we can't do that yet Let's see what else we can do though we can explore yeah let's explore the shore see what happens you turn and there's a long, lank, brown man at your shoulder. Listen, he says, I have a story for you. Yeah, let's see what the story is. So we would need one Z of the story and one tale of terror. So we'll have to remember that the next time we come back here to maybe save those up. Okay, we have, uh, we got one tale of terror from them though. So we could maybe turn that around on them when we get a, a tale of the sea. His story has a wedding full of murderers and a leafless forest, and a vast serpent which eats souls. The tale winds on and on, like the serpent, until you are lost in the dizzy toils of its sinister ships and its glamorous corpses. You nod awake, he's gone, but not, it seems, before searching your pockets for small change. <laughs> Pity, though, because you got no um, echoes for you to steal. Okay, and I think... Um we don't want the wretched mog. Yep, yeah, we're pretty much done here. Let's head off. And then if that megalops comes to say hi, we can finish it off. Let's go into battle mode. Now let's see if we can finish you off. Oh, we've got no... Pretty sure we're out of torpedoes. So we probably shouldn't have tried that. Yeah, 
yeah, we're not getting a firing solution, so I think it's good. Pretty, um, pretty safe to say that we are out of. Um, yeah, we're out of of ammo. Okay, so let's get away from these guys. Oh, we actually need to be going out this way. We right in his path, so he's definitely gonna hit us. Only two damage though. Okay, so let's just speed up. Okay, a bit more damage there. I think once we're around this headland here, we should be they might chase us to port, but they won't catch us. Yeah, pretty shocked about poor old Father Ted though. That purple thingy just came out of nowhere and decided it was going to stomp the hell out of, out of us. It did a pretty good job of, of it too. Okay, so we're going to put in port here. Um, let's get a port report first. Okay. Um, then let's listen to surface gossip, because that's always nice. And then let's assist him. A riddle. There are ten individuals in a room, one of whom is an ancient tyrant. How can you distinguish him? Answer. Burglarize a private library for a picture of him beforehand. Know the enemy. As dinner bell sounds throughout the port, you carry a ladder to one of the long moored half legal ship hostels. You prop the ladder to the porthole of what the gall gallivant assures you is the cabin of a French diplomat. He ascends swiftly, leaving you to carry the ladder away. Half an hour later, the gallivant is back on your deck. He polishes his rubber cuffs. I have seen the face of eternity printed in ink. It was a terrible face. Okay, so he now knows who his uh, target is. So we're going to head on to the um, funding station. So um, just while we're here, I'm just thinking. Um, So this whole area of the map is somewhere that we haven't explored yet. So it might be worth checking it out just to find some new places. And it'll be interesting to see um, how um, Sakura's natural philosophy kind of bleeds into how she she is as a captain. What kind of decisions that leads to and that kind of thing. I like that each um, each of our captains has been, de you know, has developed their own kind of personality and their own way of doing things um, as you've gone through them. Okay, so that might be a bit dangerous, depending on where to go. No, it looks like we're okay. Obviously going off the beaten track um, is going to be a little dangerous for us. Oh, um, that's certainly going to be the case with those guys. So let's run. 
I think we should be able to put into port before they decide to shoot us. Let's back off now because I don't actually see them on the screen. So they're probably giving up pursuit. And then we can dock. Okay. Right, so first off, let's get our port report. Okay, um, once he does his thing, we probably have to do a runner, so. Let's get our commission. The Admiralty asks you to bring back strategic information. This is your contract. Yes, yes, I have it here. The courier ship to Mount Parmesan stopped off to resupply. Tell the Admiralty. Tell them I miss my children. Tell them I can't take it here much longer. The spores, the dark. Okay, so we got the information we needed. Let's take T with the factor. So we've read this a number of times. We lose two terror. We gained six fragments and we got one supply. Good. And we already, um, well, previously we'd found about the uh, exceptionally fine restaurant in Vanderbite. Okay, then we can gather supplies. Mm, no, I don't want to. Let's just help him. I don't like comedians. I'm a very serious man, but we agree on one thing, timing. That's why I'm breaking into the factor's home and why I need you to distract him until I found a special itinerary. A pleasant distraction. It just so happens that you bump into the factor on his walk home. On his walk home from tea with us. It's a bit strange, but we'll go with it. What a happy coincidence. You couldn't possibly manage this entire picnic basket by yourself. Overjoyed to have company, he joins you on a, on a bench for the next hour, merrily eating sandwiches. You take your leave once you have seen the ga gallivant pass by. Back on your deck, the gallivant laughs jovially. His rubies wink in the light. I and Misery will be sending a representative to the contest in Port Cecil. There's a full itinerary for all the events, tailored for every attendee. I have the dictator's moves mapped. Okay, good. So now he wants to go on to Port Cecil. Okay, and there mm, we don't really want to be doing that at the moment. So let's check the map. So Port Cecil is all the way over there. So that's definitely, <coughs> excuse me, that's definitely a journey for another time. So I think uh, let's head south. Let's clear some of this area here and then go to Pigmoat Isle. And then from there, we're probably going to have to make our way home. Yeah, so that uh, makes sense to me. Obviously, you know, it's just, a, um, it's just a temporary plan that if something bad happens, we can always change. Um, we can always change the plan to something else. Um, quite possibly it could be just Let's run home as fast as we can. Okay, so we're going to get our Z-Bat out and moving. Now, I see some pirates, so we're going to run for a bit. I want to put us around this island so that they maybe forget about us. Okay, and then get the Z-Bat out. Okay, still no islands. We're going to back off now because I think the pirates have gotten themselves stuck, which is great. The word are sluggish with high foul treads. Violet vegetable bulks break the surface. My silagai. Okay. Get our Z bat on the move again. Okay, the other shroom is some distance to the southwest. So let's check the map. Okay, so let's head that way. Make our way through lots of mushrooms here. Ok, 
Okay, so we discover the other shroom. Port should be down here. A two cracking treasure. A chunk of grit bakes in your ship's biscuit. You crack a tooth and curse. Your crew chuckle. But when the object turns out to be a diamond, small and badly flawed, but a diamond nevertheless, they all hush. Diamonds are sacred to stone, one says. Give it to the Z, Captain. It'll be luck for us. So Sakura is a natural philosopher. So I think a natural philosopher is probably going to um, decide that giving it to the sea is the way to go. So let's see that. We lost five terror. Okay. We now have X, the gods of the Z, stones attention. Okay, good. Now we're just looking for, is that the port over there? It could be, you know. Can we actually make our way under here? Or are we going to bump into something? Yeah, bumped into something. Okay, at least we know that now. Took a bit of damage, but hey ho. Okay, so I'm guessing that... Um, Anywhere where you got like this outer kind of not really branches because it's a mushroom, but uh, the branchy looking area we can sail and anything that looks like you know it's this the upper area is not safe to sail under. Okay, so let's just get ourselves around. How far south are we? So there's still plenty more. Of the southern area to go. There's also plenty more um, of the east. The further away from London, the scarier and more dangerous things become. Okay, so let's dock here. Okay, let's gather intelligence. What happens here on top of a mushroom the size of Marlborough? The villagers live a shabby but sufficient life. The other shroom provides. They are secretive, taciturn, and curious. Ships rarely visit. Probably because you're out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so hospitable. Not exactly, but they usually don't chase you off with sticks. And they usually let you sit beside their mildew smelling fire. Okay, let's do that. So we gain one terror and we gain one tail of terror. Let's see why. The other shroom releases spores according to its own inscrutable schedule. Today the air is soupy thick. They coat your hair. They clog your throat. They gather like sleep in the corners of your eyes. Conversation with the shroomers is impossibly hard. You return to the ship where you find a tiny purple mushroom growing already in your ear. Oh, nice. Okay, let's um, search this shroom top. Fibrous huts, spore fogs, the endless damp purple smell. Is there anything else? Well, let's find out. There's something different about this patch of mushroom rind. It's crumbly, friable. You dig into it and a rich, apple smell emerges from beneath. You found a pocket of different fungus stuff, pale green and delicious. The crew scoop it into buckets. Embedded in it are fruit, solace fruit. They grow in swamps, far from here. That's peculiar. Okay, so we got one extraordinary implication. Got ourselves five supplies and we got um, three solace fruit. So that is pretty amazing. Now, um, let's head off. Actually, let's not head off because we're about out of time for this video. So yeah, as I said, that brings us to the end of this video. So if you have enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and perhaps posting a comment. I really do hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right. 
and check out some other videos here on the left.